Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to discuss the uh, spaces tab inside the construction in Dialex Eve. So in the previous lesson we discussed how can you add doors and windows to Dialex Eve. Now let's see uh, another tab. We have discussed the plans, we have discussed the, uh, this one which is site. Uh, story and uh, apertures and all of this we have discussed them before now if you go down here to spaces you will find here what does the spaces do spaces show with you the spaces which you have designed inside the uh, dialex evo program okay so as you can see the spaces which i have done as you can see room number one room number two room three and so on okay all of our rooms all of this are considered separate spaces inside dialex evo and in addition to the corridor you will find it here as room number 12 okay so as you can see we have room one two three four and we would like to name this uh, rooms so how can i do this simply you can select any of these rooms like this one room one if I click on it, what will happen? You will see room number one. Okay, and you will see the properties and the work plan of uh, the room number one, which is office. Office is written inside the uh, original AutoCAD file. So the first step, we can name our rooms. We have here office, so we can name this as office like this. So as you can see, and instead of room one inside uh, dialex evo it became office okay and you can see the height of the room itself is three meters and you can see you see here the working plan which is of course important in the uh, lighting design which we have discussed in the design uh, in the dialex red or the red dialex okay in the previous sections in our course for electrical design so let's see uh, the other rooms if i click on any room i can change its name so the second step rename each one okay we can also then after doing this we can uh, remove our uh, autocad file okay or hide the autocad file here we have the store okay like this um, this one is workshop work job this one is um, auxiliary transformer auxiliary um, transformer uh, trans transformer Okay, so we will copy all of this and go to this one. This is also auxiliary transformer. Okay, like this. Okay, and this one is a battery room. Battery room. Okay. And this one is um, AC DC room, AC to DC room. Okay, and this one is uh, the uh, corridor. Okay, corridor. Okay. We can also add the entrance. We haven't uh, we haven't done the entrance, and we haven't added the stairs. You can add them also inside the Alex Eve, okay? But let's focus more on the interior uh, parts here or interior rooms. So let's see the options here. So we have named all of our um, rooms inside the floor itself. You can see we have different views here. You can see we have office building. This is all of our project, the complete project. You can name it from site. From site here, you can name the office building, which we are working on, representing all of our um, uh, site or all of our building. 
okay if we have a building with a garden and all all of the things or all the interior design you will find it here inside the office building okay which we have named here second part is that we can have a building one building of many buildings okay so this building will be building one this one which you can find here inside the story you will find here floor one which is a part of building one okay so building one representing whole building if we have more than one floor you will see all of them above each other okay the plan as one block the floor representing each floor if we have more than one floor we will see a menu here where we can select different floors and you can see here this one is rooms okay so we start with large uh, area having more than one building for example then we have a group of building where we select which building and as you can see we have only one building then you will select what floor you would like but we still have one floor only and here we select rooms so if you click here you will find all of our rooms which i just named okay as an example um battery room like this you will find it focuses on the battery room only okay if we click like this it will give us the floor only if we click like this it gives us the whole building and here the whole site okay now um what if i would like to see them in different views let's see this one is 2d view, 2d view or the floor plan view which we have seen right now in 3d like this this which we have seen before okay this is the 3d view of the whole if we have more than one building then you will see all of them here okay now here building one it will give you one building only so if we have more than one building we will only see the selected building only here floor the selected floor only as you can see this is the floor which we have done it is the only floor that's why we don't have another floor here so it shows you all of the floor and the rooms inside it if we select a room like this the battery room you will see that the Dilex Evo gives us only one room, okay, which is the battery room. Select another one from here, auxiliary transformer, like this, okay. Okay, building one, like this. Then we will go to the 2D view, like this, and office building, everything here okay now as you can see as you can see that here we have entrance which is uh, a name in the autocad file and you will see office a small office behind the office of the dialex evo you can see here kitchen which is behind the large kitchen here and so on now after we have done all of our spaces as you can see from spaces here you can see after we have done all of them named all of the rooms we would like to and we have uh, done all the spaces or all of the rooms now i would like to remove the autocad file or hide the autocad file how can i do this simply we can see here at this one display plans click here and untick the plan we have only one plan which i obtained uh, from autocad which is autocad first floor now untick this one like this you will see that we hide the uh, original uh, file or the original um, autocad file okay so as you can see rooms which we have designed inside the dialex evo okay and you will see the names which we have added of course we need to add the stairs and entrance that's why I'm going to do this right now so we can complete our plan okay so first let's um, add it like this then go down here get back to a uh, story like this so let's uh, draw the entrance like this select this one like 
like here. Okay, which we have done in the lesson of um, how to draw how to draw uh, rooms inside the uh, Dialects Evo. Okay, like this, take this one, get here, here, uh -huh. close polygon. So as you can see, we have drawing uh, room number four, which is the uh, entrance. Uh -huh. Like this, we can move it a little bit here. Okay, this is uh, uh, the building itself. Okay, so we can move it like this, like this. Okay. Then we can go to the this part, which is the uh, stairs. Draw new room. Go here. Like this. Okay. Close polygon. Okay, so let's see the rooms. Building one. Okay, entrance. Small space between them. Okay, so let's go to spaces like this. Name this one as um, stairs. Uh, name this one as um, entrance. Okay. So as you can see, we have done all of our plans: store, workshop, transformer, battery room, stairs, uh, corridor, entrance, and everything. Okay. So we can save it like this, and we have discussed all of these icons. Okay. This is to give you a zoom to the entire scene, as you can see here. This is used for measurement to measure anything, and this one is to set the coordinate axis of this um, point. Okay, the reference point. Okay.